Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We are here to teach you so complex Hispanics and Native Indians who you truly are according to the Bible. That's right. right. No longer will we walk around as stickers. No longer will we walk around as thugs. No longer will we walk around as gangbangers, TDs, moles, foes, tribal and vice lords. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes. And it's high time that we wake up out of our deep sleep. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. Why? Because our people out here sleep and broken hearted. We suffer through slavery. We suffer through drugs. We abuse drugs. We abuse alcohol. We abuse heroin. And all of these things are, are, are a product of our environment. Come on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 1. Yeah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon us. Yes, us, a fellow black man. The same brothers you think is just niggas. The same brothers that you think ain't nothing. God has put his Spirit upon us. Come on. Because the Lord had anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. Unto who? The meek. Who are the meek? You so-called blacks and Hispanics. Hey, Native Indians, you are the meat that the Bible is talking about. Yeah. This ain't no doggone religion. That's right. right. The white man has enslaved you, has bamboozled you, has tricked you, and taught you that you were Gentile, has taught you that you were nothing, but you are God's chosen people. That's and right. it's high time that we wake up out of our sleep. Bring Come on. Up. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. We are that brokenhearted. Our minds have been broken in America. We have been made slaves here. We have been oppressed here. Right. All throughout America, from the south, from the west coast, from the east coast, even up here in the north, even up here in Chicago, in the Midwest. Come on. To proclaim liberty. To proclaim what? Liberty. Liberty means freedom. Freedom to who? To the captives! To who? The captives! The slaves! The slaves! The slaves! All nations were not made slaves in America. Hey, come here, big brother. Come check it out. Come here. Hey, what about you, sis? You all right? What's your name? Come here. Huh? Tanya? You ever heard any of this information before? So, we out here teaching our people who they truly are and how to get out of the conditions that they are. You ever, uh, do you believe in God? You believe in the Bible? What does God say about you? What's your nationality? Uh, half black and half Puerto Rican. Huh? Half black and half Puerto Rican. Half black and half Puerto Rican. What's your father's nationality? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. So according to the Bible, you will be of the tribe of Ephraim. Let me get by you really quick. This is who your fathers are. This is your nationality. Here in slavery, we have been stolen from our nationality. This is Ephraim right here. This is who you will come from according to the Bible. Here, what? My name has two significance. My name is the gift of the king of heaven. Okay, all praises to the Father. Let me show you something. How do you get the king of heaven? Say that again. You don't know? I'm going to show you. Do you want to get the king of heaven? Do you like the condition that you're living in? You live around here? No. You come over here and hang out with your friends up here. Okay, where you live at? Where you stay at? Do you stay? Okay, I'll be Paul. Alright, watch this. Give me that. Watch this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So here we're reading about a young man that approached Jesus the Christ, a black man. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. white. The Israelites are black people. The angels are black. God is black, and a black man came to another black man, Jesus Christ, not this devil right here, and he said, "How? what do I have to do? What good thing should I do in order that, that I may have eternal life? You understand that, sister? What's your name? Mika and Tanya, right? 
Watch this. Watch this. So right now we're going over how to get the kingdom of heaven. Do you believe in God? Right. Absolutely. We do all got to go through something. But what is the what is the profit if we all go through something and we all wind up in hell? What's the profit in that? Think about it. All of us got stuff that we battling. All of us got stuff that we struggling with. But what makes us different from everybody else? Nobody has never questioned that or examined the matter. But guess what? God gives us the answer. Come on. Verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So first, Jesus the Christ, he humbled himself. He said, why callest thou me good? There's none good but one. That's the Father, right? Come on. That is God's. And, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Hey, sis, come here. Come here. Where you going? Where you going? Read it again. Because I'm, I'm giving you a difference. I'm giving you the keys of life right now. Come on. And he said unto him, huh? why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Huh? That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, huh? keep the commandments. So you know what that means? If we want eternal life, we must begin keeping God's commandments. Under this devil right here, under this doctrine, under this man, they have taught us that God's laws was done away with. Right. Have you ever heard that before? They said the old covenant or the old testament is done away with. We under grace now. You never heard that before? I know she heard it. I've heard it. Have you heard it before? She never heard it. So, in the Christian church, because when you go through our black neighborhoods, there's a Christian church almost on every single block. But yet, our conditions is, what? We got people that be strung out on drugs walking up and down the street. We got people that's oppressed. We got people that are struggling. They're, they're drunkards. They have no hope. Right? This is... I feel good. <laughs> Drinking feels good. Absolutely. So how are we supposed to so how are we supposed to utilize that time? So you said it takes time, right? For everybody to get themselves right. And I agree with you. But how should we be utilizing that time? How should we? What you think? Give me your Sarah Five Seven. Hold that and give me Sarah Five Seven. Uh-huh. No, we can't. We here for you, sis. We here for you. You got to use the restroom? Okay, you can do what you got to do. But we out here for you. Remember, the scripture says that we, the, the Lord has sent us for the broken hearted and to those to, to proclaim liberty to the captives. You are the people that we out here for. After that, give me your Matthews 11 and 28. This is the book of Sirach. Chapter 5, verse 7. Bring it out. Make no terror to turn to the Lord. See what the Bible says, sis? Even though you're in your condition right now, do you have a home? So even though you're in your condition right now, right now you may abuse drugs, whatever it is that you do for money, the Lord says still make no terror to turn to the Lord. It's not by accident that you showed up right here. God has sent us to heal the brokenhearted. Those right. that have been made slaves in America. Those that are the captives. All of these people right here, they, they, they seem like they're in a better condition than you, but they're not. They're all dead. All of them. They're all sick. They're all oppressed. They're all broken hearted. You ain't the only one. You're just in different shoes. Come on. Make no terror to turn to the Lord and put that off from day to day. See that? God says don't put it off from day to day. You smoke? So, according to the scriptures, we're not supposed to be smoking. If you want the Lord to be able to actually bless you, truly bless you, or look after you, we have to start keeping his commandments. You understand that? You understand that? We gotta start keeping his commandments. We cannot drink excessively. We have to start cleaning ourselves up. Hold that, hold what you got. Give me, give me what you got, Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse seven. Bring it out. Condition in our way of thinking, sis, is a disease. You understand? Pay attention, pay attention. Come on. <laughs> and as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John, what went ye out into the wilderness to see? A red shaking with the wind. 28, 11, 28. Verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. You see that? You see what 
the Lord said, the black Messiah, God said, all you so-called blacks, come unto me that are burdened and heavy laden. Come on. And I will give you rest. You see that? The Lord said he will give us rest. You look like you need rest. This brother right here looks like he need rest. The brothers across the street, all of us need rest. Right. That's right. right. I know we all need rest. I know it's hard out here for us. But guess what? You don't know that you have the one true God behind you. The only reason why you're in the condition that you're in is because you have the one true God behind you. Your father has been punishing you all this time, and nobody has ever showed you what you got to do to get you out of your condition. No pastor will ever show you what you got to do to get you out your position. But the prophets of God will tell you. The prophets of God will show you. Come on. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Aren't we the hard laborers here in America? Aren't we the hard laborers here in Europe? Aren't we the hard laborers in South America and Central America and the islands, the Caribbean islands? Yes, we are. Come on. Take my yoke upon you. To what? My, take my yoke upon you. Hey, sis, I need you to focus and stop dancing. You understand me? Look at it. Look at it. Stay focused. Stop dancing. The Lord said, read it again. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. You see what the Bible says? He says, learn of him. Learn of him. Give me your, is that it on that? She gave me Give me your second Ezra today. chapter 16, verse 76. Verse 76. So this is what God has said for all of us blacks out here. All of us Jamaicans out here. All of us TDs out here. All of us moans out here. All of us that struggling, we feeling down and out. We smoking weed to pass by. We getting drunk to pass time by. We hanging out on the corners, doing nothing, wasting our lives away. Read. This is the book of 2nd Andrews, chapter 16, verse 76. Bring it out. And the guide of them who keep my commandments. You see that God said he is a guide of them that keep his commandments. Right. The black man has never kept God's commandments in this time, in this world. That is why we get cut down in the streets. Right. That is why we hung out on drugs. Right. That is why we in poverty. Jeez. That's why we poverty stricken. We in the hood. Hey, bro, you, big brother. Come here, let me holler at you. You believe in God? You've been walking around here, I see you. You believe in God, right? What God do you believe in? Is it just like a higher power, or do you believe in the God of the Bible? The God of the Bible? What does the God of the Bible require you? What is God's message to brothers like you? Because we are here to show our people who they truly are. Brothers like you and sisters like her and the rest of our people out here, y'all really don't know what y'all walking past. Y'all walking past the greatest information you'll ever hear. God created heaven and earth and man, and he chose a specific people, a specific lineage to proclaim to be his children. Guess what? You descend from that lineage. That's, right. That's what we out here to show you. That's right. You descend from that lineage. That sister descends from that lineage. But we have not been taught that. So let me show you something. Read it again. Verse 76. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh you down. See what the Bible says, brother? You struggling right now? Be honest. No, right, right, button, right, right, right. right? That's how we, you know it's recorded. A lot of us, we are poverty stricken. And we got a lot of things that's going on with us, and we use, we abuse cigarettes, black and miles, weed, pills, alcohol, to escape the problems that we have. But God says, read that last part again. Let not your sins weigh you down. God says, don't let your sins weigh you down, bro. Do not let the society knock you upside your head to the point where you can't get back up. God has raised prophets to teach you how to clean yourself up, how to take the dung, the men from the dung hill and make them among princes. Right. That is God's plan for That's you, right. whether you believe it or not, but you have to accept it. You understand that? We ain't out here giving no religion. Ha, ha, ha. We ain't out here for that. Right. We out here to raise men. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is.
unity. Nation is 